Our transport costs vary depending on how far we live from work and shopping centres. But on an average, we can expect to spend around about 15% of our household expenses on getting around. For example, the total cost of keeping a new family sedan on the road is likely to be around $90 per week. So let's say you have a car that's big enough for your growing family, but it's fairly old and becoming unreliable. The Automobile Association in your state can help you with the details, but generally it's more economical to restore a car you have, especially if the body's in good shape. While the three or $4,000 you spend on reconditioning the whole car won't necessarily increase the value of the car, it will give you a vehicle that's cheap and reliable, and that's worth a lot if you're budgeting on one income. Even if you have to borrow the money to do it, you're likely to be ahead. So before you leap to another car, have a look at the sums. So the problem is you've got less money to spend, and yet with kids, you're more dependent on safe and reliable transport than you've ever been. Now, two people who found a solution to this problem are Damien and Susan. And I guess, Damien, we really should go back to the beginning. What sort of transport were you using before you had kids? Well, we were running two cars. We were both working, so we had two cars. Uh, but mine uh, started breaking down, so I started riding a bike to work. So Susan, that puts you down to one car, is it this car behind us that you were left with? No, no, in fact, um, we had a Mazda 323, similar to the one that you drove up. Um, when Dominic was born six weeks early, we found that three children wouldn't fit in the back of that car, and so we literally picked this car up on the way to the hospital to collect Dominic. Mm. Damien, in fact, that sounds as though it's pretty expensive to actually have to go out and buy another car. Did you actually save any money out of the deal? Well, you save uh, a little by not having to run two cars. That's perhaps a couple of thousand dollars a year. Uh, but we still have to run the, the uh, family car. And how are you getting to work now, Damien? I use a bicycle. Right. So that's, that's the weekdays pretty well sorted out. But how do you actually sort out those weekends where you might actually both need the car? Well, we usually uh, have a uh, arrangement. We plan ahead a little bit to uh, see what each one needs. Um, it's just a matter of uh, a negotiation. Really. Of negotiation. Yeah. Yeah. Damien, you've obviously made that transition from two car family into one car family pretty successfully. Have you got any advice to people who might be looking down the same problem? Well, I think it'd be a good idea to try it out first. Uh, try and leave one at home and uh, see how you go. So give it a trial run first. <laughs>